But hey, what's going on today? We're going to make photography goals. So photography goals, what are photography goals? How do you make photography goals? You know, uh, I'm going to give some examples of what I've done in the past and then um, also some examples that you can use out in the field or if you're planning out your year, uh, it's already March, but never too late. Uh, you know, you can go March, March, whatever. So uh, my first my first tip is use SMART goals. So SMART goals, uh, if you haven't been learned, so SMART goals, if you haven't been taught in school, they are specific, measurable, uh, attainable, relevant, and time-based. Now, it's a lot easier when you're making goals to actually remember that than uh, actually spilling that out each time. But they're really helpful to easily go back to your goals and kind of understand what you were trying to do when you first made the goals. So some examples for this might be uh, go out to take photos of the sunset four times during the month of February. Now that is time specific. You got uh, where, where it is, um, how many times and take fo sunset photos. Uh, here's another one, make a list of six different locations to suit at uh, before March uh, 30th. I believe it's actually March 20th right now, but anyways, <laughs> the second the second tip is use sub goals. So have your top, top level goals and then have sub goals underneath them. Now this is actually proven in a study uh, where they were trying to figure out if people went to the gym and how, how well people went to the gym and attained their goals and they found that using sub goals actually works a lot better than just having one goal and it was just like a really like it, it was a very interesting study but but it's those little things like uh, i read a lot so what i found to do is read a few chapters set a goal to read a few chapters and then eventually after those few chapters, after a few chapter like sets or whatever, you'll be able to finish the book. The third tip is write things down. Writing things down is super important. I used to be, I think it was like maybe two years ago, two, three years ago, I used to not write anything down. I was all on my phone, you know, all in my notes app, all in uh, Keep Google Keep. Uh, no, no notes anywhere, but I found that actually getting a pen, getting a pencil and maybe a notebook or something or some sticky notes even and writing stuff down is very helpful. Now, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's like you're writing the process of writing and then looking at it and then figuring out those goals from there. Read my new book. So change your basically change your attitude when you're out shooting when you're doing these goals uh, have a buddy to kind of like help you along with those goals or if you're not making those goals make sure that you have somebody that you can rely on that's gonna like call you out on that i found that to be super helpful you know you know i see it all the time where creatives just get into a rut and i've seen it multiple times actually um and it's actually really amazing seeing them come out of that rut with a new perspective. And sometimes all it takes is a new perspective. And I know I have been in a rut before and it's just what I found to be the most helpful is reading, talking to people, um, and then going from there. But I would highly recommend checking out this book. Super good book. Um, it definitely does have some good tools to use. It's not like an end all, be all type book, but it's it's really good. Uh, the last thing that I wanna say on photography tips is that life happens, stuff happens. If you get too busy with school work or personal stuff, just realize that if the photography goals are not your priority, they're not your priority and that's okay. And just being able to be flexible about that and understand and not be so hard on yourself, you know, about um, attaining those goals, especially when uh, certain life event ha events happen. And that's actually happened to me where I last year really wanted to do a lot more. However, I just mentally could not. So uh, ask for help. So asking for help 
uh, it might seem a little bit difficult, but there's always somebody out there that is trying to learn the same thing or um, would highly like would love to give information out. Even if that's me in the DMs, even if you DM me with a question, I'd love to answer. Um, or maybe I have to talk with other people about it, but uh, ask for help, ask for help in attaining your goals, or if you just are not sure about something in photography. And so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, photography goals, making photography goals. Uh, let's create some awesome photos in 2022. Uh, take some awesome photos, go some awesome places, meet some awesome people, you know, just make it awesome, all right? So that's it, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys are staying warm and it's almost spring, super happy. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Purpley, purpley, <laughs> sorry. Dude, okay, if my niece was here, dude, she would like the purple. She would think the purple was cool.